Hi everybody, Todd Bullis. Um, hey, I wanted to do a quick video for my abolitionist friends that go out and do uh, exhortations or uh, go out and do agitation, okay? Um, the Bible says that my people perish for their lack of knowledge, right? Um, and that doesn't just have to do with biblical knowledge. I think it has to do with general knowledge. So if you go out and do agitation, you have to make sure that you have knowledge about where you're going, what is legal and what is not legal. Now you can ignore all this all you want, and that's fine, but your chances of being effective are less, and your chances of going to jail are much more, and also the chances of the police running you off is also much greater, all right? So what we're gonna look at here today is how do you find out where you can and can't stand? In front of a church, in front of a high school, in front of a, in a town square, where can you stand? All right. And how do you find that out? Okay, well, the law basically states that you're allowed to be on public easements. Okay, so every road has a public easement. Most cities, most counties have a, a rule that, you know, from the center of the road to a certain amount of feet out extends the easement. That's where they can build the road on somebody else's property, right? Or you can walk on the sidewalk at somebody's property because it's within the easement boundary. But how do you know what that is? It's, it's different, you know, like when you're on a, uh, in a city, there's maybe only a three foot sidewalk. You have to stay within that three feet, right? If you go outside that three feet sidewalk, then you're on somebody's property and you can get arrested, like at Planned Parenthood. If you stick your toe over the line, um, then you can get in trouble. That's why it's important not to listen to the police, not to listen to Planned Parenthood, uh, but to actually go and find out where that line is, right? So, especially in your own hometown, you should know all of that, um, and you should know how to get access to it. So here's how you get access to it, all right? You go to Google, and you do a search. Let me show you. So I just did Denton County easement map, all right? Most counties are digitized now. So that's what I did. And I found this map right here. It's called the City of Denton Open Data. And it has an interactive map right here, right? So let's click on that. And if you click on that, this is what comes up right here. All right, so this is Denton County. And then over on the right-hand side, it has all the different things. You know, it has like, um, you know, like the water um, map shows where the water is, the water lines shows where the wastewater is, you know, all the different all the different data. And one of the things you can find here is easements. So you can put in an easement, right? And then it, it'll show you where all the easements are. See all these lines, green lines just popped up? But then you can put in an address up here, find address, and I put in Denton Bible Church. First Denton Bible Church. Now these guys are hellacious okay lying just horrible people right for the most part I mean their security they did everything they could to push us away so you what you can see here is here's the actual lines right here's the these lines here these dotted lines are actually easements so the public can go on these right so here here's the difference like if I take off easements and I just have on here property lines for this address, 2300 East University Drive, Denton, Texas, which is the Denton Bible Church, you can see their property line. Here's their property line. It goes all the way around here, right? Can you see my mouse? It goes all the way down here by this um, Minigo Road. And then it goes all the way up here and it goes around, right? Comes in here and then back up here. Now, on the, on the top of that blue line is all state or county property all right but look what happens when I click on easements now the easements are within the property line so when somebody says something like you are standing on Denton Bible Church's property you have to leave the police will run you off right everybody will run you off but if you say no 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 no, no. this sidewalk that runs along here is an easement and I have every right to do that, to walk on here. 
In fact, I could walk all the way around the church because there's an easement all the way down. There's a road right here that goes all the way down. There's an easement that goes all the way down the backside of um, Minigo Road and all the way around. Now, it ends here, right? The sidewalk ends here. But you can still walk along the road where there's no sidewalk because there's a, because that's the county property, all right? You can't walk in here. You can't walk anywhere in here. You can't walk into any of these areas. But the areas here, right? I could actually walk almost right up to the front door of the church through this easement. Now, the closer you get, the more of a pain in the butt they're going to be. Denton Bible Church, I was over here in this corner, all right? And I walked over to this gas station. And they said when I crossed the road, and you can see an easement right here, right? You can see it all the way down. You see this road right here, and it goes into the church. They said because I crossed the road that was on church property and off the easement, and they were going to arrest me. And the only reason they said they didn't arrest me is because I said, well, you haven't even trespassed me yet. And I haven't even walked on the property, so they trespassed me, right? So let's look at this in uh, real-time Google, okay? So this area right here, right here, is right here. Okay, here's where I was standing. Here's the gas station. See over here? Here's where I was standing. Here's the gas station, right? I walked straight across the street. Here it is again. See the sidewalk? That's part of the easement. See this road? That's all part of the easement. And you can walk into the gas station, right? Now, again, the church owns this road, right? They own this road, but there's an easement that goes all the way down here and it actually goes into the parking lot. All easement. So what happens is if you don't know that, the cops will just arrest you. And then they're like, oh, we didn't know. It looked like he was on church property, right? And and you won't, you won't defend yourself because you don't know. So it's better not to get arrested. It's better to know exactly what you're doing. So, and if we look at this here, if we look at this church, so there's easement that goes all the way around this church, all right? It ends in here. Well, I actually think that that's probably, that sidewalk is all city property, okay? But I know it turns into church property over here somewhere and goes all the way through. The easement map shows us, right? So this is all church property. I think that sidewalk runs along this road and goes across this way and then comes up here and then it connects here. And that's the sidewalk. So you can be anywhere on the easement, anywhere on the easement. Now, I personally would not go and stay on this road here and say, well, I'm on an easement and show them the easement. Because these are bitter people, man. Like, you never know what's going to happen. It's better just to you know, stay here, have a good bullhorn. Um, last time we went out here, we were over here on this side of the road. And the bullhorn reaches everybody everybody in all these parking lot areas so in other words all these parking lot areas here right you can reach everybody from here and then we're on this side and we walk up and down the sidewalk and we reach everybody here right but if we parked we parked in the gas station parking lot and they convinced the the gas station parking or the gas station people to have our cars towed and luckily we moved them before but you know so anyway um that's how you do it right you go and you put in the address and you look at it and you can take it off. You can see the church property. You can put it on easements and look where you can travel. So this is good all over like Denton County, this map, right? So most cities have these and this is what we want to be sure of, right? Because the cops will arrest you out of ignorance and you will go to jail out of laziness um, and uh, you know sometimes they'll just give you a ticket right but it is criminal trespass it's not it's not anything to mess around with so we would go and we would stand right here and I got videos of them like mocking me telling me that I'm gonna go to jail and then they couldn't because I was in an easement right the sidewalk so anyway don't go to jail it doesn't help abolitionism, all right? Do your best to check the easements. Find the, um, the maps in your county, uh, especially when you go somewhere else, right? If you go to another state or you go to another city and you don't know, cops will just push you back, you know? Because all they're looking at is breach of peace. Like you're disturbing people. 
you're bothering people. When they get a call, they come out, they can tell right away who the person is that's causing conflict. It's that guy with the dead baby pictures or the church repent pictures. It's that guy handing out pamphlets. They know who, they can spot him right away. That guy's the problem, right? So the cops do everything they can to keep peace. Um, and and trample, they trample on your, your free speech rights, right? And every church I go out to, almost every church, that right away they just call the cops on me, right? And I'm not breaking the law, and I'm not stepping on their property. And they will actually lie, like Denton Bible Church did, and said that I came on their property, and they told me to leave, and I wouldn't leave. And um, so they were going to have me arrested. And you know what? The cops were completely happy to arrest me. Absolutely. And again, the only reason they didn't arrest me is because I said, you haven't even trespassed me. How could you arrest me if I don't even have a trespass? You know? So, because the church is open to everybody. Anybody could go in, right? So they have to legally tell you, you're, you can't be here or you will be arrested. And they have to trespass you. So that means you can go to any church and stand with uh, the pictures out in front of their door, right? Or inside the church or pass out stuff inside the church. And unless they ask you to leave, and if they ask you to leave, I mean, you can say, oh, okay, I'll leave and talk to them as you're leaving, right? But you should leave. Don't stay there and get arrested. Uh, but you could, you know, you could stay there until the cops come and then they'll criminally trespass you. And then, um, and then you leave and then you don't, don't come back, right? So uh, Matt Wiesman does that quite a bit. He'll stay um, until the cops come or shortly before the cops come, he leaves, but the cops always find him and then trespass him. I think he's got the most trespass warnings uh, of any abolitionist, you know, followed up closely by Troy. I don't know what it, what it is about those guys out in Illinois, but